Hey, what's up YouTube, Bronix with it another tutorial and this is going to be a quick one and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about how to sharpen images in Photoshop. So by sharpening, I mean whereby we're going to basically enhance particular details so that they can be prominent in the images. So sharpening is not done on the overall image. We always want to enhance particular details in the image. For example, maybe skin details, eye details, and maybe sharpening cloth hair so i want to show you guys the best two ways of how to go about sharpening your images or your portraits in photoshop so this is the image we have right now the very first method is going to be a method of using frequency separation to sharpen your images so usually if at all you don't have a frequency separation action i'm also going to be helping you guys understand how to go about all that so it doesn't matter if at all you have an 8-bit frequency separation action or a 16-bit. But let me first of all go uh, with those that don't have the action. So that they can also learn a different method or a different way of how to sharpen the images even when they don't have a frequency separation action. So I'm going to simply create two layers by hitting Ctrl or Command J. So select the background layer and hit Ctrl or Command J twice. You can name this whatever low and you can name this uh, high high for high frequency so again <coughs> select the low frequency then come to filter and come to black come to gaussian blur <coughs> now for this case we only want to blur out or remove textures from this image so for this case i'm just going to move uh, this slider to a point where i'm starting to lose out on the skin details of the image so i'm going to go with around 8.2 so it is actually going to determine the image so come and select the high frequency and activate it so like i said you shouldn't mind about uh, the bit ratio of the image for this case so come to image and come to apply image so we're just going to basically come and change the blending mode to subtract then come and select uh, the low frequency layer because we want to extract the details from this low frequency layer or pass 100 scale is 2 offset 128 and make sure invert is not on and you can always make sure the preview is on so when you zoom in you're going to notice that your details are on this gray kind of layer so simply hit ok and come to the blending change it from normal and change it to linear light and when you're done doing so select both layers and hit ctrl or command g so we're going to name that group sorry uh, frequency separation fs i think that will do so if at all you already have the action you're going to simply come and select a layer that is containing uh, your skin rather skin textures or the textures for your image and for this case that is the high frequency layer and you can simply hit a uh, duplicate it by simply dragging it to this new layer icon or you can simply select it and hit ctrl or command j on the keyboard and it is going to enhance the details but uh, this kind of looks off so when you do this always make sure you come to the opacity slider and uh, reduce on the opacity of uh, the details or the detail layer in the images so if at all i am to zoom in to this image show you guys as uh, a before and after for this image you can notice that uh, we still have the details in this image so if at all we want uh, the effect to be applied on only maybe the skin and maybe some facial structures like the eyes and we don't want to sharpen other areas like the hair simply come and hold down the alternate and hit alternate button or key on the keyboard and click on this icon right there so you can see uh, it has hidden the effects that we had in african separation so come under the brushes right click and get your normal brush tool it has to be a soft round brush so you can do that by coming under the settings and turning the hardness to zero so opacity 100 flow 100 smoothening at zero so come and uh, make sure you have a black and white by clicking right here so we want to reveal the effects or the sharpness that was hidden behind a black mask remember 
white reviews and black hides so make sure the white is on the foreground or you can easily toggle by clicking on these arrow icons or by using x on the keyboard so after doing that start painting yeah just simply start painting on the areas you want to uh, sharpen in the image and when you sharpen you're going to notice that it's going to be painting a white mask right on that particular area so if at all i want to sharpen the eyes reduce on the size by using the brackets and come and sharpen uh, the eyes just like that so you can basically enhance just the skin and uh, remove the sharpen maybe from the hair of uh, your subjects so let's see the before and after so far the before after before after let me try to zoom in i think that is too much so uh, that's the before after before after and when you feel like your sharpening is a little too much come the opacity and you can uh, reduce on the opacity of uh, your sharpening so that is the first method and the first method has been uh, using frequency separation uh, to sharpen the image so i'm going to select this layer and i'm going to delete it so under the second method of how to sharpen or enhance particular details in your images uh, is going to be uh, the usual high pass method so in this method you simply have to duplicate uh, whichever layer you have or if at all you have been retouching and you have some other adjustments you have to simply create a stamp visible layer first of all to merge everything or your adjustments may be retouching and color grading into this solid kind of layer and so for this case when you have this solid kind of layer we're going to simply hit ctrl or command j so after creating that layer we can even name it sharpening or you can leave it the way it is but for purposes of being uniform we can name that a uh, sharpen so when you're done doing so come to filter and come to other and come to high pass so when you come to high pass uh, this is where the magic is going to take place you have to uh, move this slider uh, up to a point let me try to zoom in up to a point when you start looking at uh, the image and the outlines so usually it should be in between a uh, one and 1.5 so for this case i'm going to go with around 1.3 and simply hit ok so after doing so uh, we are going to simply come to the blending mode and change it from normal and we are going to be using vivid light for this case you can see the before and after before after we have already enhanced uh, the overall details but uh, we have basically sharpened the overall image and we don't want it uh, to affect the overall image so what you're going to do you're going to come right here and you're going to hold down the alternate key and click on this uh, layer mask icon uh, to hide the effect from the overall image then come under the brushes make sure white is on top uh, the settings for the brush is uh, opacity 100 flow 100 percent smoothing at zero and you're going to simply paint over the areas you want to uh, sharpen in the image so for this case i just want to enhance the details of the skin like that i hope uh, you're seeing uh, what i am doing so when you're painting you're going to notice that everywhere you paint you're going to be uh, applying a white color in that particular area so if at all i turn this on and off you can see that uh, those particular areas i've painted have gotten uh, to be sharp and the details have been enhanced even more and then when you feel like it is too much or you want to delete sharpening from a particular area simply come and change and get black on top and you can erase the sharpening from particular areas of the image so this my friend is uh, the best way of how to sharpen uh, your images in photoshop in a non-destructive way and if at all you love this story don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching from this channel for the very very first time ronix from ronix photography and i'll see you in yet another one don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating